Uh, it is high time. It becomes a rallying call for all of us. I want to appreciate uh, the leadership uh, at various levels. They've pronounced themselves on the need uh, to, you know, eradicate corruption. Mm -hmm. And uh, what I would want to say is that uh, it's high time we get uh, the citizens to support uh, the fight against corruption. Mm -hmm. Because, yes, as I had indicated earlier, we have the institutions, but the leadership still continues to, needs to continue, uh, you know, Providing that uh, leadership being a, a, a leadership that can be emulated because if you look at the requirements of uh, leadership as provided for in the Constitution under Chapter 6, uh, it requires that uh, we have leaders who uphold integrity, leaders who are honest, leaders who are accountable and leaders who will make decisions not based on, you know, uh, corrupt uh, deals or maybe, uh, you know, motivations uh, of corruption. Mm -hmm. So what I would want to say is that we have leaders who still need to come forth and really support the fight because uh, quite a number of times I know we have a role as the leaders, but if we are to be asked, can we stand to be counted? That is the question I'm challenging the leadership that we need at whatever level, without uh, being specific to any uh, leader, we need to actually, uh, you know, continue leading by example. Then back to the citizens. Mm -hmm. We are the ones that get uh, most often uh, we get affected by the challenge of corruption either directly or indirectly. You may be traveling on a poorly done road. What does that do to your car? If you are seeking for services, you are asked to pay even for services that are free. But you are willing because you are not uh, patient enough. We've seen people who want certain services and uh, they are being told that this service would take 10 days, for instance. Maybe you are applying for a passport and uh, you are not willing to follow the due process because you want to corrupt your way. Uh, how many of us can stand up and do the right thing? And that is what I'm saying. But at the same time, uh, it is possible to change the narrative. And uh, in terms of bringing on board uh, all uh, the stakeholders, what I would say is that uh, it's high time we become deliberate and uh, to the, particularly to the citizens, because most often you'll find that they are the ones who suffer the consequences of corruption.